Hello everyone. I'm oh, I'm letting this I'm letting this video here um kind of um focused about on my face. I am laying in this beautiful bed here in Sydney and um and I'm having here my my herpes right now. My herpes is on my face. You know, I used to be really ashamed of like, I used to have, when I was in high school, I had really, really bad skin. And so I was really, I was made fun of with really, I had bad skin and people called me, I got the word like pizza face and I got the words, um, you know, like, um, my first boy boyfriend was really quite torturous to me. And he said, um, you have bad skin, but I love you anyway. Isn't that a horrible thing? <laughs> Oh, I think maybe it's, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just saying that because all the flaws that I have within myself, the flaws that I have on my face, or the flaws that I have on my body, or the flaws that I have, what, well, you know, like, I don't know, I have gray hair coming in. I'm embracing all of that. Gray hair, is, if that's considered a flaw, or um, I don't know what other people consider flaws um, we can all follow that and consider that they're all flaws, but I love every flaw in myself and I love that I can actually admit that I have this and to show it online because, you know, we, uh, what makes us really strong is accepting our imperfections, which somehow this comes with. I like I didn't like choose this to be on my face, nor did I choose the acne on my face, nor did I choose the gray hair coming in, nor did I, you know, um, you know, if you don't work out obsessive obsessively, you know, um, then you don't have this like kind of perfect body that the world has said that is perfect body or if you don't follow this or you don't follow that or you don't look like this and like you can't take a selfie you know there are instructions on the internet about um how to take a self selfie the do's and don'ts about taking a selfie and you know i'm just so like sick of all of that stuff and i'm really tired of like having to like keep up appearances or having to you know like look have my hair look good or anything like that and if you've been following me that's basically um you know basically what i'm really about these days so some days i show up looking you know like hot and sexy and you know and um in the in the now <laughs> and sometimes i don't and i'm not like, and even when I leave the house, I don't have to look a specific way, and I don't have to be, um, you know, dressed up for other people. I dress up for myself these days, and I'm really okay with all of this that's on my face. Like, I used to make some kind of excuse of, like, look at this, or look at that, or, um, I really have a bad hair day, or I have this or that. There is nothing wrong with looking good, but I, when you are like, you know, when that's a choice, it's like the best, the best thing and a choice for yourself. And it feels good to look good, but it also feels good to own the fact that you don't always look good. And so, oh, these last days I've been, or this last couple of days, I'm really kind of homesick and I'm like traveling and... We're here on holiday, and we're having a really good time, and I've just been really lazy lately, and I don't know. I'm really good with that, too. I'm pretty good with everything, you know, that comes into my experience, and, you know, sometimes, I don't know, the head, the conditioned mind, and if you're watching me, you must recognize, if you don't recognize your drastic like mental I don't know garbage that goes from one extreme to the other extreme sometimes and tries to like hijack you and make you feel like you know if you're feeling lazy or you know whatever oh is it bleeding <laughs> I don't know you know what I'm saying it's like you know you get really exhausted by trying to pick up keep up with experience uh, keep up appearances and you get really exhausted with just trying to just keep it all up and kind of 
you know, not admitting this, not admitting that. And I'm just guess, you know, I'm a really obsessed with my truth and speaking my truth. And I realized that um, it's really liberating to kind of speak my, well, not even kind of, to speak my truth. And there's more and more and more that is revealed. And I think that social media is an opportunity, a more of an opportunity for us to all come together than to, um, let me see, to share our food. You know, I have an occasional, maybe I've posted like my food like two or three times. But, um, you know, and I don't know. What is different about me and what is different about what can separate us basically about from the whole masses of people that you know are posting on social media is that if you if you're your authentic self i think that gets like for me it's so super attractive because i'm really interested in the in the in the authentic self and and the and the outrageous self and the unique self and the people who are unique and the work that i haven't seen before and not a copy of this or not a copy of that and that's just my way i'm just i'm not saying that it's like my way or the highway you know what i mean but i think that that's just so attractive it's really attractive to meet people who are are really out there and um you know like especially as an artist i'm really attracted to that and i feel that it's just so important these days to not follow that herd and not to fit into any kind of you know category or label or whatever and so you know <laughs> and i don't know it's just so uh relieving to know that i can be like that and to feel like that and to to just share that with you because it's so it's my truth it's so true and um i don't know however i'm appearing to you right now i don't really care either um because i'm not trying to get anything from you or i'm not trying to impress you and hopefully like if you watch my videos you'll know you just like being yourself and not editing anything and you know people think you should edit shit and sometimes i edit my videos if they're vlogs or something because i like that um but i don't edit my talks you know or like this that's why you don't see any cuts or anything like that because it's just not i decided that long time ago anyway so that's my spiel today and if it makes sense it makes sense if it doesn't it doesn't i don't really know so if i don't know i guess it's one of those kind of fuck off days you know so fuck you if you don't like it but if you like it you know we are the same tribe and so that's really cool so um i don't know <laughs> sometimes thinking can get in the way and it's just really important to know all this shit and to know that this is like the authentic me and um and that's just really cool for me so i'm really becoming the freak that i want to be and it's so interesting to be called the freak because I think mm, it's more angelic than being a freak. It's kind of like separates you from the crowd and that's just really important and I think it's just what I'm saying. So my boyfriend's coming in and I'm gonna wrap this up right now. So let me get let you get a real good look at this right here. This right here. Uh huh. And the stains on my tea shirt right here from the coffee. Yeah. That's what happens. Oh, so thank you for watching The Real Me and enjoy your day. And um, keep it real. And um, yeah. <laughs> right, baby bear? Right. right. Right? Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. So, anyway. So. <laughs> Bye. He kisses me anyway with my little herpes in my mouth right here. Kind of hurts, but I know it's going away. She's a big one. Okay, have a beautiful day. Thank you for watching me. Enjoy it. Bye bye. Bye bye bye.